look at the following algebraic expressions. Every one of them is alike except for one. Can you tell which one's different? Well, you can use a little algebra to figure it out. The first two expressions are equal because you can use the distributive rule. And 2 times 1 plus x equals 2 plus 2x. In addition, the first and third expressions are equivalent because the sum of the two numbers doesn't depend on their order. So 2 times 1 plus x is the exact same problem as 2 times x plus 1. Therefore, the only one left is the last one, and it's the one that's different. If you look in your book on page 201, there is a list of a bunch of properties that you need to know. It's not necessary to memorize these properties so much as it is important that you know how to use them. Each of the expressions written on the board behind me is applying one of the properties listed on page 201. These, each of these problems are example problems from this lesson, and you can look at the example problems to figure out exactly which property I'm applying. It's more important to me that you understand how to do the problems when you're given them than it is you be able to identify exactly which property it was that you were applying. Therefore, I'm just going to work through these problems. To see which individual property is being applied, you can look in your book on page 201, 202, and 203. 3 times 4x you multiply 3 times the 4 to get 12, and then it's still multiplied by x, so you stick it out there on the side. 12. The second problem is 2x plus 1 plus 7. Now, according to your order of operations, you have to do what's in parentheses first. However, that expression is as simple as it gets while it remains in parentheses. Therefore, you pull it out of parentheses and say 2x plus 1, it remains plus 7, because everything's positive. There's no negatives to mess anything up. So it says plus 7, which ends up being 2x plus 8. That's as simple as the expression can get without knowing what x is. Therefore, you're done. Dividing 10x minus 6 by 2 sounds really complicated until you think about it in terms of division. This splits up into 10x over 2 minus 6 divided by 2. Because there's a minus sign between these two terms, you can split it up and say this one divided by 2 minus this one divided by 2. 10x divided by 2 is 5x, because 10 over 2 is 5, minus 6 divided by 2, which is 3. 5x minus 3 is as simple as this problem gets without knowing the value of x, so that is the answer to the problem. The last one, 5x minus x, you have to think about it in terms of what does 5x actually mean. Well, it means you have an x that you multiplied five times. So you have x, 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 x minus that one x. So you have five of them and you take away one, that means you have four x's left. This one is the same thing as doing like five apples minus one apple, except instead of having apples, you have an x. 5 apples minus 1 apple is 4 apples. 5x minus x is 4x. Hello out there in TV land. Stay with us, folks. Things could break any minute now, but right now, uh, back to our regular program. You can't go! All the plants are gonna die! Set a spell. Take your shoes off. Y'all come back now. Here?